Hi everybody. Yes, today we are doing a massive spring haul. The first, may I add, of possibly three. This is only number one, so you may subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on any of those. So without further ado, let's jump in. Hi everybody and welcome back and I have a new mic because there was buzzing on my last one, don't know what was going on. So we are trying this beauty out today and I have a beautiful bum, 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 spring haul. I got some really, really nice pieces and they are stapled. They will be in your wardrobe forever and ever and ever. And this beauty here, I'm going to leave to last because she's my absolute favourite. So can you guess what's in there? Can you? Nope. Any other guesses? So today I have robbed my daughter's perfume because I was like in the mood for something different. You ever like that? So I said to myself, right, let's get something different here. And I went up, I robbed her perfume and it is none other than Narcisco Rodriguez for her. This is a beautiful, fruity, floral, fresh, perfect for spring. Oh yeah. Mm really beautiful and of course as always i will link her down below so that is our perfume of the day now without further ado let's get into what i bought and as i said there's going to be about three of these videos because i went a bit mad i find that you have to shop early because either all your sizes are gone or items are gone so shop early is my tip to anybody out there for spring at the very beginning of the season grab what you want you're much better off you will not miss out on anything so let's start with this beauty i had on my mind a a pair of Kate boots. They were the Kate Nevada boots, if anybody knows them. Now that is giving you a little tip of maybe what may be inside here. So you, how does that play? It says Ghani on the front of this box, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. So inside I found these and I thought, oh, they're a bit of me. They are a bit of me. So for spring, summer are actually really for any time of the year. And I'm really loving all my pair of shoes and you can actually see them in there now. I will take out, they're absolutely divine. I actually tried them on earlier on just to See, they actually came in this, this morning and look at that. Now, you might say, why does that even have any resemblance to anything from Kate? Well, the Kate Nevada boots, which I will put a picture of up here, have this beautiful snake skin at the front, and that's why I love them. That's why I was going to pay the absolutely ridiculous money for the Kate boots, and I probably won't wear them. I was like, Fave, it's coming into spring summer. Why are you going buying Kate boots coming into spring summer? So I said, no, let's not do that now. And I found these beauties, and I just adore them. They're so me with the kind of, they're edgy, they're cool, they're flat, they're comfortable, and I just love them. And by the way, for any of those interested, not that any money is, but I was diagnosed with a bit of arthritis in my feet the other day. I know, hands, feet, everything else, that'd be a whole topic for another video if anybody wants to hear about joints and all that kind of stuff, the joys of getting older. But anyway, so I have been advised not to wear my six inches anymore, my four inches, or even three inches. So I'm gonna, you know, wear more, you know, flatter shoes, more supportive shoes. I love my Uggs and the podiatrist said to me, Vivian, you are like anybody, anybody out there and we all love our Uggs. They are ruining our feet, people. Absolutely zero support. I came home and Katie was absolutely thrilled with me. Not. When I told her not to be wearing her Uggs. Now, of course, I'm going to let her wear her Uggs but I just advised her and told her, look, you have no support, love. Your feet will be splayed as you get older because there's just zero support. So anyway, I got these Ghani shoes and I love them. Imagine these now with whether they be leggings, whether they be your long flare jeans and a pointy top toe that really makes them elegant or a three-quarter jean or a skirt or a long black kind of column skirt just rock star cool and flat shoes don't have to be sensible they don't have to be old womanish they can be very very cool just like these so they're my first purchase and I absolutely love them now moving on to number two and let's move to Massimo Dutti yes I went a bit mad on Massimo Dutti too but as I said these pieces are kind of forever pieces they're classic pieces they'll staples in your wardrobe forever and Massimo Dutti's quality is just beautiful. So go for your good quality items. You're paying a little bit more, but they will stand the test of time. So inside is, what? And there's another one. Another pair of shoes. <laughs> 
yeah, I don't do things by halves, you know, so that's that. But let me show you what's in here. This is Massimo Duty Studio for any of you who've heard of it. It is kind of the elevated line in Massimo Duty. They all seem to be doing things like that at the moment and I think it's quite a good idea to be very honest with you. This is the beautiful dust bag that's inside. Oh, and for any of you that are interested in my top, I got this. This is pretty lavish. I will also link it down below. It is scrum umptious, comfortable and it sits in and nips in on the body and just comes to the waist. So inside, I saw these and I went, oh yes please, yes please, yes please. And I always find if you kind of say yes immediately and you're not hesitating, will I, won't I, will it suit me? That is a very good sign. Your heart is going absolutely yes. Look at these beauties. Look at them, look at the heel. That is the heel I'm going to be wearing going forward and just so happens that I love it. I really, really love it. I got a pair of the black boots in Zara. They're at winter time and I've worn them to death and their heel is about that. I just love this heel. It's like the new kitten heel. Like the old one was like pointy and narrow. This one is like a really cool shape. And I'm just gonna take out the stuffing there and that is her inside. Now I have a pair of Gucci shoes. I should have brought them out actually, Gucci sandals. And they have this kind of crisscross and I've always loved them. They were brown on the bottom and gold here. And then these have the ankle strap. They are just gorgeous. Again, I'll try them on for you. When I saw these, I went, oh my God, because if anybody has seen on the Celine website, they have the most divine, this type of shoe. It has the Celine little logo and this design on the front. And I think they're gorgeous, but I'm waiting them to go on sale or whatever. And I'll, I'll probably get them then. But these are just, aren't they beautiful for the summer? Or anything, for weddings, for anything. They go with white, go with black, trousers, jeans. I just think they are doughty. They've got like a 1920s kind of vibe to them kind of a vintage look I really really like them as I said everything will be linked below if you're interested in anything I'll link it below for your convenience because I'm good like that you know now next up in here oh in here we have something else that's a very light bag you're holding there Vivian that's right because I already took it out so hold on a second I have the beautiful and it won't look anything here until I try it on for you but this is a long cardigan and I'm thinking this there are no buttons no belt no nothing it's just an open like mo hair kind of style cardigan wool and it has this kind of three-quarter length sleeve and I just think this over like a blazer with the collar sticking out a different color blazer and then you could put a belt over both and it would just look amazing or if you're traveling on a plane this is going to be my blanket for I can tell for the foreseeable and it's absolutely gorgeous again it's from the studio line and she is that length very plain very simple but very beautiful and I'm just going to read exactly what is in her. She's 25% polyamide and 2% elastin and the rest is wool. So she's 80, 75% Lana wool, yeah, the alpaca. So that is her, she feels lovely and soft. I can just admire, uh, imagine wearing this as like a coat or a comfy kind of plain travel outfit. And I think she's gorgeous. And again, a real staple. So I'm gonna try her on for you and you can see her on the B-roll. Now, next up from Massimo Duty and stick around because then we're going to move on to this beauty. Very excited when they, honestly, oh my God, I'm just in love. So the next one from Massimo Duty, oops, nearly showed my address is none other than I bought a beautiful pair of black dressy trousers. Now I have very similar to these that I got in the winter but they were wool and these are cotton and they're absolutely, they're so light, they're kind of like featherweight. Yes, just a pair of classy dressy trousers which I think are going to be gorgeous with those gold sandals and this beautiful little number look at herself. So I got that because I thought, oh, I need a nice little cami. That'll leave me beautiful under a cardigan, under a blazer. If you want to wear a t-shirt, even that kind of a look underneath it. And I just thought with a bit of lace on the front and then on the back there, she has, you know, a very kind of a low back. So I think I'll possibly be wearing a t-shirt underneath her. And I think she's absolutely gorgeous and dressy and a piece that you'll just have and you can pull out easy to travel with, pack in your bag and off you go. Now for the piece, piece de resistance, I got in here. Is it a bag? Is it a bird? Is it a bird? No, no it's not. You can probably guess. You can probably guess. You know, I know you're intelligent. I know you are. So inside, let's have a look. I was so excited. I've been looking at these for so, so long and I've been going, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. And then I just pressed the button and I said, yes, 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 please. So we got them on a net a inside to reveal little card there. Love the way Nelle Porte wraps their, their few bits and 
there's two of them. So imagine that, another pair of shoes. Another one. <laughs> to reveal, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than to reveal the beautiful La Loafer from Saint Laurent. Oh my God, I just love them. When I opened them, I just went, oh my God, immediately the detail. I was looking at the ones from the row. I was going to get them and then I just loved the little YSL on here and just a tiny, tiny little logo, that's it. They have the beautiful gathering here. Uh, they have the beautiful almond stroke kind of pointy toe. They have about a half an inch of a heel. And what I like is about loafers. I love loafers, but I don't like them too chunky. I still like a feminine looking loafer that you can wear with a skirt, with just something more dressed up. They can also obviously casual that you can wear with your jeans, wear the pair of trousers, of course. And I just think they're divine. These are kind of the more shiny one and they have the penny loafer in the front. They are just scrumptious. I got them in the size 39. Now, I wanted to ask anybody else, I'm just going to take out the other one here while we're talking. Has anybody else bought these shoes? I know I've read on some websites that you should go a full size up and other people that I've read reviews on have said no, go true to size. Now, when I was actually putting these shoes on, I definitely needed a shoehorn because obviously the back here is a bit stiff and it took me a minute to get them on but I feel because the leather is so soft, it's just going to shake to my foot. So these are my true size and and I would love to hear from anybody what you guys think. At the moment, they're definitely snug. So I was kind of going, God, should I actually send them back and get a bigger size? I'm going to try them on again now and let you have a look at them. And I'm going to get them probably sold as well, just to kind of keep them because they were a bit expensive, you know? I think they were 895, 850, 895 euro. Expensive, but I intend on having these for a very, very long time. As you can see, the YSL logo is just on one shoe and not the other, which I like as well. So I've been looking at so many. I've been looking at Acne Studio. I've been looking at the row, I've been looking at Bottega, Gucci, just so many different, but I just love these. I absolutely adore them. I've seen them on a couple of people and I was like, right, that's it. And you know, of course, then when I got the diagnosis of the arthritis in my toes, I was treating myself, wasn't I? So I was feeling sorry for myself going, I'm going to have to sell all my high heels now. I can't wear those. And so I have to get a good pair of flats. Amazing how we do that, isn't it? Do you ever do that? <laughs> Anyway, that's it. They are my purchases for today because I have a lot more coming. I have even some more here on the floor that I haven't shown you yet, but I don't want this video to be too long. So subscribe for the next video and the one after that. And we're going to have lots of beautiful spring capsule finds and the best of spring purchases and beyond because they're going to do you forever and ever and ever. And I hope you enjoyed that and I hope the sound was lovely. And until next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.